Lord Marla. <clears throat> I apologize for the interruption. But uh, I was on the topic of division. You know, one of the key, one of the key traits they use to uh to to fuck us around. You know, they uh they divide us. <clears throat> They, they divide us. That's uh, that's how that's how they got all this shit concocted, concocted actually. Um, you know how they uh caused the division amongst the black household. You know, with all our daddies in the penitentiary and shit, and uh, got them hooked out there on crack cocaine. And, and uh, man, there's so many things they done did. You know. Um, it, it done caused this jealousy and uh, this hatred for, for your people. You know, motherfuckers, uh, motherfuckers hate their brothers because, um, <clears throat> because you ain't a part of, uh, of a certain, certain establishments that's been, uh, that's been compromised within our urban communities. And, um, let me just get straight to it. The church, y'all know, y'all know it. The church done caused so much division, or this uh, this Christian um, this Christian religion that they done pushed upon us. That wasn't our religion in the gate. We ain't had no. We ain't believe in a, a a white man that could do everything that you could think of him doing. And um, and and and, and he, the only way you could get to God is through him. And uh, he sacrificed his life for us. And, and man, I just really wish people would think about things, man. Why y'all don't think about shit? Why do white men introduce religions to us and, and we run with it? We gone. Boy, we'll sacrifice it all in the name of Jesus. Boy, we'll sac Boy, we so fucked up in the name of Jesus. Boy, we'll, we'll give it all up in the name of Jesus, boy. Man, and please don't get me misconstrued with what I'm saying. Because I was once a, a heavy Jesus believer. I was, man, you can tell me nothing wrong about no Jesus, boy. And, and this ain't just Jesus. There's a lot of religions that's been instilled in our community. Motherfuckers that, that check a bag off our nigga ass because they know how to talk. They know how to persuade us. They know how to sway us in a certain direction. Boy, they checking so much money, man. Do y'all know all these motherfucking uh, religious institutions, man? They don't pay taxes. They tax exempt. Boy, once you say, you can't say certain shit in the church if you're a pastor. You can't preach certain shit to the pulpit. Boy, I mean, you can't preach certain shit in the pulpit. Boy. Man, a lot of pastors know it. You know, don't get no fuck. You know, in the name of Jesus. I'm taking care of my family. I'm checking the bag. I'm leading my people a better, to, to, to a better destination. They ain't got to go through hell. You know, as long as they believe in this in, in Christ and Jesus and Jesus sacrificed his, himself on the cross for all us. Man, boy, the, the way they the way man, Jesus more important than God. More important than God. Man, look. So they introduced uh Christianity to the Negroes, right? We was fucked up. We were slaves. We wasn't allowed to learn shit. You wasn't allowed to read, write, or uh, get caught trying to learn some shit. Boy, they're going to punish your ass. But well, you, you can learn about Jesus. They, brought, they, they introduced Bibles. Man, they introduced religion. They've been fucking us around for so long, man. Hey, motherfucker, know it. The black people know it. The, the black, the black preachers know it. But when, when you open your eyes and you realize shit, 
but you 15, 20, 30 years in it already. This all you've been taught all your motherfucking life. You ashamed. You don't want to say shit. Because you know what's right in your heart. But you've been so brainwashed for so long. You've been so fucked around. That uh, you done, you done misled your people for so long. When you find out the truth, you don't even want to say nothing. Fuck it, let me keep this shit going. I'm checking the bag off of it. You know, they don't tax none of the churches. You could be a motherfucking church in society, boy, and not get taxed nothing. As long as you preach this motherfucking uh, gospel and get this word out to these Negroes, boy. See, it ain't just the penitentiary. It ain't just cocaine. It ain't just, uh, you know, how they, how they got our women and got us distraught over the power of the pussy. Boy. Our men just as distraught as our women. Everybody fucked up. Everybody think they know what the fuck going on and what they doing the whole time. We fucking each other around heavy. Boy, we fucking around, man. We sell the crack cocaine our people, you know. We we pushing all these Mollies and Percocets and, um, and, and, and Xanax uh, tabs and uh, what else is it? Uh, Promethazine drinks. Uh, on top of the weed, on top of the uh, the beers, on top of the hard liquor. Boy, so many hard liquors now. They got Douce, they got Hennessy, they got Ciroc. Boy, they got Grey Goose, man. Damn, boy, high preference. Clear, black, vodka, tequila, high preference. They got something for you. They got it all type of flavors. Find a flavor you like, man. And they ain't to mention the cig bought cigarettes, the fast food. Boy, they fucking us up from all angles. Then hitting us with these bullshit ass health healthcare facilities. Motherfuckers dying. They uh they pushing so they pumping more poison in you once you go to the healthcare facilities to try to fix yourself. We so blind, we boy, we done poison ourselves. Then we go try to fix ourselves with the white people, they fuck us up some more. <sighs> Talking about they treating you. They they got a they got a uh they got a healthy solution for you. <sighs> Man, uh, y'all see all this shit that uh the, the recalls on the drugs that they sell us? Do y'all see the shit that you gotta possibly go through? Drugs could kill you. Try try some of these new drugs and, and look up a year later and they having a recall saying it caused cancer, it caused seizures, it caused tumors. Boy. Uh, a lot of times the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, they pass shit through and, and, and give motherfuckers a certified stamp of approval on some bullshit. It's all about a bag, boy. If you don't think everything about a bag, everything about checking a bankroll and keeping our ass suppressed at all costs, keep them fucked up. That's the only way we keep checking this bankroll. You keep fucking them niggas up. In, in all sorts of ways, and we're gonna check a bankroll off of it. I don't get no fuck through if it's through food, if it's through uh, land, if it's through drugs, if it's through uh, uh, let's fuck up their women, let's manipulate their women, how they women uh, thinking they worthless. The men, boy, boy, we so lost, and we the sole, uh, man, we the sole perpetrators of this bullshit. What happened to the responsible men? To the, to the men of integrity? To the men who think before they do shit? You get mad at your brother or sister, shoot them down in the streets. You feel like a, 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 a motherfucker don't know who you is. Nigga, you ain't shit. You the same motherfucking brother and sister in, in the neighborhood with everybody else struggling. Soon as a motherfucker get get a little uh little paper about theyself, man get a little straight. Now it's motherfuckers can't say nothing to me. 
motherfuckers can't talk to me crazy. Uh, uh, man, I'm to be respected and I'll kill your ass if you don't. What? What happened to each one teach one? What happened to lending a helping hand? What, ha what happened to aid and assisting our fellow brothers of the struggle and all righteous endeavors? What happened to that shit? You know? Man, that shit out of there. You know what I'm saying? Any motherfucker that tried to guide us positively towards a positive direction, an uplifting direction, they killed them or locked them up. It's called division, y'all. That's how they do us. They do us so dirty, man. We looking at each other. Let you, let you be a brother that done worked or hustled or, or uh, did whatever you had to do to get you some money to try to take care of your family and your kids and, and you riding clean, you know. You taking care of your business. You being a responsible adult, you know what I'm saying? You got morals and shit. It ain't shit you'll just do and you won't just do anything for a couple dollars or, or do anything for some pussy or to be recognized, you know what I'm saying? You a man of standards and integrity. Boy, come through the urban community flossing like that And you like that and you on your shit Boy, they gonna tell you that Who the fuck is this nigga? What he doing? They automatically think every nigga that got some clean sell drugs Boy. And for the majority part, it be true Niggas be selling drugs to get back Boy, they won't give us no jobs They fuck us on the jobs Boy, once you snap an X on their back, they out of there Boy, label a motherfucker a felon and let it be factual. Boy, your ass ain't getting nowhere in life unless you become an entrepreneur or a hustler or a rapper or a ball player or try to make or d d happen to luck up and come across your money <clears throat> and, and invest in yourself. Man, do y'all know all the brothers that's successful, all the sisters that's successful, they invested in theyself. If they invested in some other than they self, which is highly unlikely because the mind create everything, <clears throat> then uh, uh, they they labeled a certain way, or the uh, or the, the people that the people that took something from that that took their idea, that took the blueprints from from so many of our ideas, or labeled it their own. Stole our patents. What, what, what? Patent shit that, that wasn't even theirs in the gate. They beat us to a patent. Boys. For all the black people that are successful and done made a way for themselves and their family, man. If you think it's an obligation, if you think it's not an obligation to uh, reach back and help your community, to be a humanitarian within the urban society, the black community. Man, that, that's why they give you money. So it can distort your vision. The same way they do with the religion, the churches, the schooling, um, the, the urbanized communities. Uh, uh, man, everything destroy, the, distorts your vision. Man, let high clear mind. Boy, you be a scholar. Everything you done took in all your life, all the shit you done absorbed and sponged in through your situations. And, uh, man, that shit just turned you to a different person. High clear mind in today's society and, and know how to analyze shit and think about shit and, uh, navigate through the bullshit. Boy, they don't want niggas like us around. For what? So you can wake up your people. So, so they could get an understanding about who they is and, and they worth and they power as a whole. Boy, no, no, we gonna keep these niggas quiet. You know what? We ain't even gotta keep them quiet. We got our brothers and sisters so fucked up on all this other dumb shit that they ain't gonna even pay attention to him. They ain't gonna even listen to what he gotta say. Let him talk some positive shit. They gonna look at him like he's crazy. I got the most views from when I'm talking about uh, my introduction uh, my introduction to Lakeside. Because niggas thought I was just talking about some game banging shit. You know what I'm saying? Some, uh, smoking big blunts, fucking on bitches, riding around clean. That's what motherfuckers thought I was talking about. So uh, once, that, once I stopped talking about that, that was just to catch motherfuckers' attention. 
These are all facts. Everything I did is with a purpose. So, you know, once a motherfucker see, I'm talking about uh, gentrification, division, urbanism. Ain't no motherfucker even trying to check on the channel no more. I got to throw in that bullshit just for motherfuckers to look at the channel. It's called division, y'all. They fucking us around at all costs. And we don't even understand how they doing it. All we know is shit don't feel right. That's all we know. Shit just don't feel right. A lot of us don't even give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Shit. Why should I? Why? Motherfuckers look at it like, why the fuck should I care about what you talking about? About uh, uplifting your brothers and sisters and, and trying to make a better way and, and changing the way we view each other and, 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 and changing these societies we live in to a more positive, you know what I'm saying? A more strength, strengthened, um, a, a more progressive, excuse me, a more dignified, unified uh, area for our people. It's, it could be done. We just don't give a fuck. So many people so absorbed and caught up in they self and so arrogant and so bougie and so, and, and look at your brother like, man, let a motherfucker pull up in an Audi A8. And, and his exact same brother sitting next to him in a bullshit ass old beat up ass Buick Century. Boom, the division is in, it's right there. You hop out, you look at a motherfucker like they ain't shit, you know. Man, Cause you getting money, you know. Cause cause you live in a certain way. You look at your brother like, man. You don't even pay attention to him. The, 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 on the opposite end, your brother who fucked up, who sitting in this old ass beat up Buick Century. He done had hard times. He done been in and out the penitentiary all his life. His family been. He got so many drug addicts in his family. It ain't just cocaine. It's it's all the stupid new new created drugs, boy. The young people, they fucked up. The old people fucked up. The middle-aged people, we don't even know what the fuck we doing in life. Man. Brother in the Buick Century, he fucked up. He, idol he admiring the shit out this nigga who getting all this money. Pulling up in a clean alley. Hopping out a little jewelry on. Smelling good. Smelling like Izzy. And all the new smells and shit. Y'all know what the fuck they created to, for us to spray on our body. Cost seven, eight hundred dollars for a little bitty bottle. Look all uh, pretty, man. Spray it on your body. You smell like money. You walk past a, a bitch, she look at you because you smell like money. It's all about money. Brothers looking at each other, you know. So, so you got fucked up brothers. Ain't got no money, ain't got shit. Life been full of hard times. You sitting next to a nigga that pull up, he on. You looking at this brother, man. It's so fucked up, cause he look at you like, what the fuck you looking at? You looking at him like, damn. I'm just trying to figure out how this nigga getting this money. You want to cut into him. He, uh, nigga shitting on each other at, at a, at, boy. The, the, the rape motherfucker shit on each other. It's an instant. It's instant, boy. You can't even talk to a motherfucker. You can't even, I don't get, man, we all brothers and sisters. You can't even slide on a motherfucker and be like, man, bro. Man, I'm Marlon, man. I'm Marlon Anthony Hughes. You know what I'm saying? I'm from such and such side, you know. I ain't really got nothing going on. But man, I'm, I admire you, I, I admire you, brother, and I see you get money. And I just want to know how the fuck you got shit going on. Because I can't find a way. Niggas don't even talk to you. Boy, you better not slide on the motherfucker and try to talk to him like that. One of your brothers and sisters. Boy, he gonna look at you like you're crazy. He gonna look at you. First of all, he gonna look like, what the fuck is you walking towards me for? You know who the fuck I am? Boy, it's called division. It's called divide and conquer. If we if we can sectionalize these motherfuckers, the, the, ones, the, the ones that's outspoken and great, get them a couple dollars. They, they neglect their people. They don't get no fuck. All they want is the bag. The motherfuckers who can't get the bag. Because everybody can't hide the bag. 
Everybody, now everybody can live comfortably, you know. But everybody can't have the big bag, you know. It take it takes certain individuals to have a big bag. Nowadays, it take uh, athletes, uh, hip hop artists, R and B singers, philanthropists, uh, 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 philanthropists for these big ass churches, these mega churches. Boy, why the fuck we got churches with ten thousand members? Everybody gotta pay tithes just to come listen to the word of Jesus. Boy. Step outside that big motherfucker. It's, it's poverty, yeah, well. Motherfuckers got their church clothes on, smelling good, looking good, pulling up in all type of clean shit. And it's poverty all around you. But you in here preaching the word of Jesus. Boy. It's called divide and conquer. Division. It's in its rarest form right now. Boy. Black motherfuckers, man. Why we so why why we so cool with the motherfuckers who do us dirty? But but our brothers, the motherfuckers who we done stood in the trenches with, fucked up, struggling, watched all this bullshit happen, this oppression, boy. Why we cool with these motherfuckers that do us like that? Why we cool as shit with Habib now? They pushing poison all through our community. They selling all these overpriced ass clothes. They, boy, they, the Jews, they got all the car lots. They selling us these, these motherfucking cars. The, the boy, if you could afford a foreign, if you could afford a $70,000 foreign car that's made cross seas some motherfucking well, you gonna get it. Motherfucker gonna get it and ride and shit on niggas in their community. <sighs> know what I'm saying? If you boy Chevy's Chevy's don't cost you could get you could get goddamn it seven Chevys for seventy thousand dollars. They all just cars that ride around get you from uh, A to B. <sighs> boy, you know how many people your brothers and your sisters they out there struggling and walking and fucked up in the snow, beat up ass ones and shit. We we hustle, we hustle to get money and shit on our people. We don't hustle. To fucking get money, take care of our families, take care of our community, take care of our elders, make sure motherfuckers got what they need. You no, know, if it's people starving, we feed them. But taking motherfuckers just to go get something to eat, boy, we ain't doing none of that. We hustling, we selling cocaine, heroin, we selling loud, we selling zannies, we selling pills, we selling all this bullshit to each other because it's circulating in the urban community. You know, they got some shit going on in the white community. We try to press out and, and, you know, sell them some shit and shit. Boy, they catch you over there, they lock your ass straight up. Put you down for a long time. Don't come over here with that bullshit, nigga. Keep it in your community. Long as you keep it in the community, you catch these cases. We fuck you around. But as soon as you bring it, white community, uh, Chinese community, Asian, uh, the fucking Arab community, Jews, uh, what, what else? It, man. Don't bring that shit around a uh, German town and no shit like that, boy. They gonna put your ass down. Y'all know it. Anywhere where these uh overpriced ass lands at, where they checking the bag and they got all the nice shit and expensive shit and the nice cars and big houses. Boy, don't bring your nigga ass over here trying to make no money. We don't get no fuck if he is legit. Don't bring your ass around here. Keep that shit over there in the urban community. It's called division. Hey, look, man. I know a lot of people mad at me. I don't get no fuck. What you gonna do? Lock me up, shoot me. What the fuck you gonna do? Catch me somewhere, beat me up, rock, take me, take whatever I got. What the fuck you gonna do? Man, I ain't had shit all my life. The little shit that I thought I had, that I thought I was on something, it got took every time I went to the penitentiary. Everything. I done had apartments, houses, cars, trucks. All that shit get took when them people want to get on your ass and send you in the penitentiary. You got motherfuckers, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. Man, you got niggas that had it all. As soon as they feel like shitting on you, they shit on you. Turn your people against you. Boy, put your ass down so bad. Make you feel like you ain't never had nothing going on, no legacy. You wasn't never on top. Man. It's called division, y'all. This the unspoken truth by Marlon.